Hey guys, so today I'm gonna go ahead and do a video on this photo frame Wi-Fi security camera system that's gonna have a one year battery life after 24 hours of charging. So let's go ahead and open it up. From my understanding, we have to go ahead and charge this for 24 hours before we could go ahead and use it. So in the box we have our user manual, a towel to go ahead and clean off the camera lens. We have a micro USB card reader. Our USB charging cable. Then a screw and a anchor to go ahead and mount it to the wall. The unit itself The unit itself actually has, so you can put your own family photo or whatever photo you want to put inside of here. On the back it has parts so you can actually mount it to the wall. Or have it sitting up with this little stand right here. That's basically what it looks like. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take off this front plate. It just snaps right off. So when you take it off, this is where we're going to go ahead and put our picture right here. So there's our little camera right here, our infrared sensors. It's going to be our indicator that's actually currently on. This is going to be our on and off button. So if we look off to the side, we're going to have our USB charging port right here and then we're going to put our micro SD card right here. This system holds up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. So which we're going to insert right here and here's our code to go ahead and set up our Wi-Fi. And in the box with our screw and anchor we have a little tool right here we can use to go ahead and restart the unit. So right by the micro SD card slot, we have a restart button, so we go ahead and restart the unit if needed. So let's go ahead and charge this for 24 hours, and then we'll come back and go ahead and set it up on the phone and see how the whole system works. Okay, now that I went ahead and charged it for 24 hours, it's time to go ahead and insert the micro SD card into it. I'm using a 32 gigabyte card. I'm gonna go ahead and insert it into the slot. Snap it in. So now that the SD card is inserted, I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold until the red light starts flashing to indicate that it is currently on. There we go. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and install the software on either iPad or a iPhone or Android um, device. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the iPad for right now. So let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, to go ahead and install the software, I'm gonna go to my app store. And I'm going to go ahead and search for YI I app. Now we're going to go ahead and get the app. Once the app's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and open the app. So yes, we want notifications. I'm going to click on Add Device. Now I'm going to go ahead and select. I want to install my photo frame camera. It's asking if the red light is blinking. Yes, it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and allow the program to have access to my camera and I'm just going to go ahead and scan my code. It's going to ask for what username for your router and password, so you're going to go ahead and click that information. Now it's going to ask you to set up a password for the device. Now it's going to go to this next thing of Wi-Fi configuration. Now it's going to ask you to go ahead and label. You could put a custom label or you could select living room or backyard. So let's put living room. So look at this right here. This is currently online, so this is currently streaming from the camera to my iPad. 
So let's go ahead and set it up right now. So we're gonna go ahead and just put, you put any photo, I'm just gonna use the photo that's provided for right now, just to see how it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the photo right here, put the frame back on. So now what we're gonna do is snap the frame back into place. Okay, so now the frame's snapped back in place. So I'm going to place the picture frame right here. There's no wires. And I'm going to do a low light test, kind of walk by the basement, walk downstairs and see if it actually picks up any motion. And let's see how it, how it works. Okay, so right now I have the app up and running. I'm going to go ahead and just walk by normally and see if it comes up. Okay, so this is a live view right now from the camera point of view. So we're actually, you have it turned on. Usually the camera goes into like a sleep mode if you're not using it. So right now we just um, clicked into the camera and we're viewing it live right now. We could press the record button to go ahead and start recording some video off it. We could put the speaker button and actually hear um, whatever's being said. And we can actually take a snapshot of it. So if we want to go ahead and view our playbacks. We go ahead and click here. We could go to the most recent video, which is going to be right here. So I was going to just walk by and did a little walk by. If you wanted to see how much space we have available, so right now it's saying for the recording time estimated, um, it's like 10 seconds, um, I think it's going to be like 30 hits a day. It's going to be for 1600 days. And so that's using a 32 gigabyte memory card. We have it right now set up for loop recording. So if we're going beyond our um, a lot of space, we'll just erase over it and start recording it again. We could reformat it if you want to reformat the card. If we want to go ahead and change the time settings, for what time zone it is, you know exactly accurately what time to go ahead and pick it up. You could do that. You could go ahead and change your time zone, your daylight savings time, change your password, your motion detection. You could have it enabled. So if anytime somebody walks by, it's gonna go ahead and pick it up. So I have that click right now. You could put sensitivity, low, medium, or high. Record duration, you have up to 50 seconds if you want that. It's gonna reduce the amount of storage and probably battery life you have but if you want to go ahead and put that portion. You could put times to have it detect. So you could have that you want it to detect um, anywhere from, let's see, you could have it from 0 to 5 a.m., from 6 um, a.m. until noon. So you could go ahead and select what time you want it to go ahead and record, or you have it so it records the whole time. So if you want to have it, if you know a certain time um, when you're nanny or if you have um, like your, your children that are not supposed to be out in the living room playing Xbox, you could go ahead and set it so at night when they, sh they should be sleeping, if they go out and play Xbox, you could actually pick it up on the camera and you can see if they're doing anything. I guess that's an option. Or if you um, want to keep it dormant, but you know that you have uh, renters or anybody that's going to be using an area that you don't want them to use, you could have it enable to see if they're actually using it. You could go ahead and flip and mirror how you want the video to go ahead and pick up. So if you put the camera um, off to the side, you could flip it. So it will actually be whatever, like however you want to angle the picture frame, you could go ahead and um, angle it and um, flip the video so it will actually look all upright. You could go ahead and put the power frequency. I'm going to keep it default at the 50. Um, hurts right now. You can also go ahead and put do not disturb so you won't receive any notifications. Okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn off all the lights in the basement and turn um, close all the windows and see how it does with the low light. Baby. So now we have my son in the room right now. Hi. 
So it's pretty dark in the room. Let me go ahead and show you. Art. You want to try to find the camera? I know where the camera at. You know where the camera's at? Mm -hmm. Where's it at? Because I did this with Dingy, and I did the code. I did it like here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so overall, this is a really cool system. So my first impression of this is pretty amazing. It's a camera built in a picture frame, but you can't even tell where the camera's at. You could do um, video from three seconds all the way up to 50 seconds. It, it says it's supposed to last for a year before you have to recharge it again. When you want to recharge it, you just take the frame back off and you just plug it in for 24 hours and it should be good for a year. I have a 32 gigabyte memory card in this unit. So it's saying it's about 1600 days it should last. Uh, I'm not really sure if it's going to last that many. It's, it's probably going to be a year if I have regular motion going around. It's a um, decent sized um, unit, so I think it's a 5x8 that could fit in here. You have just a standard photo that came with it, but to personalize it, I'm going to put a family photo in here and just keep it in the downstairs because we have a lot of um, tradesmen coming in to our house is still new, so there's a lot of stuff I have to fix. And just for the added security when people are coming in your house, you just want to see exactly what's going on. Um, even if you're not there. So this is a, a good little unit. So this unit has um, the ability to take photos, video, motion detection, and a night vision. Night vision does a really good job. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and probably keep this down in the basement so it's an area that we don't really go into um, as much in the winter. And just so when we're out of town, if there's any motion, we can see if the dog's downstairs or if there's any intruders. So it records onto the SD card once you pick it up, um, just like the doorbell camera, when you um, view it live, you can record it directly to your phone or tablet, whatever device you have it programmed on. It's overall, it's a pretty cool unit. Um, I'm just really um, curious how long the battery is gonna last. It says it should last for approximately one year. Well, we'll see how long it lasts, but um, it, granted, it's gonna probably reduce your battery life if you have it recording the uh, larger um, video durations and if you have it recording more often and so if, if I want I could reduce the sensitivity so it doesn't pick up every single motion but just something to um, kind of look into it's a pretty cool product so just go ahead and check it out I have all the information on the link below in the description so just go ahead and check it out thank you